Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video here with you. Another 2023 wrestling review. Just got off the air. Here's my review of NXT Vengeance Day 2023. Yes, I did do a video last year when Nash Carter got released. That um, I was uh, done with NXT, but since my man Wesley uh, was defending the NXT North American Championship on the show and... The show just seemed, the show just looked dang good in general, you know what I mean? So I decided to review it, and I thought it was a dang good show. I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, it's nice to have my first NXT review in forever now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what more to say. Uh, we got Elimination Chamber in two weeks. Uh, and, of course, WrestleMania in two months, less than two months, actually. So, yeah, let's get on with my review. Opening match, we have the match that pretty much made me want to review the show. NXT North American Championship match, Wesley defending against Dijak. It was funny. It was three years ago at NXT TakeOver Portland, I think, where Dijak, or then he was known as Dominic Dijakovic, uh, challenged the NXT, for the NXT North American Championship. Uh, and the champion's last name was Lee. That was Keith Lee. That was a fantastic match. Three years later, you know, once again, Dijak challenges for the NXT North America Championship against a wrestler whose last name is Lee. And my man Wesley, right out the gate, did some awesome, like, high flying stuff to Dijak. Um, lots of brutal moves, even from Wesley to Dijak, but. Of course, Dijak, you know, being this is a David vs. Goliath type match, being the beast that Dijak is, uh, landed some brutal boots of his own to uh, Wesley. Um, I'm far out, I'm struggling to remember exactly what happened. I remember there was a spot where um, Dijak had Wesley on one of the chairs and he used a broom of all things to kind of keep him locked. In the in the chair you know what I mean and then he was trying to do a move like a moonsault but like these two guys came out you know uh, and I, I guess they were friends of Dijak like his posse or whatever I don't know um, that was pretty funny um, and he landed on them instead uh, Wesley did the diving um, corkscrew for a very good near fall and I think that, that might have been, that might have been like, before the chest, the chest spot I was mentioning though. But, you know, he overcomes Dijak, Pele kick to Dijak, one, two, three. This, I remember this match being full of awesome spots, but for the life of me, I can't remember a lot of them, sadly. Oh, I remember this awesome spot where Wesley did a back body drop to Dijak, and they're on the apron, but... Dijak missed the apron completely, uh, you know, on the outside. That was a cool spot. But my man, Wesley, still NXT North American Champion. Uh, very happy about that. Awesome match. Awesome opener. Next up, we have the NXT Tag Team Championship match. We have Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. Uh, Kaden Carter being, uh, oh, what's her name? Casey Cananzaro. No, the other one's Casey Cananzaro. Katana Chance is Casey Cananzaro. They're the champions to fan against Fallon Henley and Kiana James. Uh, I really don't remember... Oh, the start of this match, Kaden Carter was like shaking her ass to uh, Fallon Henley and Kiana James's uh, managers. And, and their team was like, what the hell, you know? Oh man, you're looking at another woman. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, but really, aside from that, the only thing I remember about this match is the ending, where Kaden Carter was. It was like a roll up type thing, and either fell on Henley or Kiana James was holding her feet down. One, two, three, and we have new NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Oh man, cool. Coolio, um, 
that was a pretty cool sudden ending and i believe katana chant and kaden kata are the longest reigning um women's tag team champions you know um so that's cool at least they got that um but uh yeah uh so they, they have the new 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 women's tag team champions cool next up might be my match of the night this was such an awesome match uh two out of three falls match Apollo Crews versus Carmelo Hayes. Um, this was just excellent wrestling from beginning to end. Of course, there were shenanigans. That didn't come until the very end, though. Excellent technical wrestling from these guys. Carmelo Hayes, I haven't been paying enough attention to him until today when the show happened. Awesome wrestler. Uh, my friend, actually, my friend Art, actually, I asked him, like, who he could see me. Yep, me main eventing wrestlemania against one day and his he said carmelo hayes and grayson waller i believe so that's awesome uh carmelo hayes uh made apollo cruz tap out to the crossface and then when the match was continuing my uncle my awesome uncle poppy he he uh, he came around the time this match started and then when they were still fighting he was like oh i thought that followed one and then i was like it's two out of three falls. <laughs> and um, more awesome technical wrestling. Um, Trick, Trick Williams. I believe that's his name. Uh, who was Kamala Hayes' like, manager, I guess. Uh, he undid the turnbuckle cover. Uh, while um, the ref wasn't anywhere near close to the turnbuckle cover. And he was like signaling to Kamala Hayes. Look, I did this for you. And then... Uh, that backfired apollo cruz countered that and apollo Cre apollo sorry carmelo hayes himself went crashing into that uh, un undone turnbuckle brutal ass stuff but still carmelo hayes did some moves did this awesome kind of you know that move that john cena does where he's like when he's diving and he does like a leg drop but it was kind of like that it was kind of like the scissor kick at the same time you know but diving you know he did that to pin apollo cruz one two three a carmelo hayes wins this match two to nothing awesome match loved it uh yeah loved it good stuff uh next up uh fatal four-way tag team match for the nxt tag team championship we have the new day consistent of Kofi kingston and xavier woods of course Defending against Pretty Deadly, consisting of Elton Prince and Kit Wilson, and uh, Chase University, consisting of Andre Chase and Duke Hudson, as well as Gallus, consisting of Mark Coffey and Wolfgang. Um, this match was just chaotic awesomeness. Uh, my family, because we were kind of, kind of watching this show together, uh, right now they're out doing some shopping, uh, and hopefully they'll bring home butter chicken. For dinner um because they probably will mini india take a water not sponsored by the way um this is just a fun chaotic match my family couldn't help but comment on pretty deadly you know supermodel looking pretty guys you know hence their title pretty deadly um i really like pretty deadly after this match they were they were crack up there i i really enjoyed it like the way they look is pretty cool and all that and um yeah, I really like Pretty Deadly. I was kind of rooting for them. But um, this was just fun, chaotic stuff. There was a part where um, I think Kofi Kingston got pushed into everyone. And then a suplex was was done from the from the top rope onto everyone on the outside. Um, lots of tags. I love that we started off with Kofi Kingston and Elton Prince for this match. <laughs> fun combination. And... Um, Gallus put one of the members of Chase University through the table. That was a cool spot. I mean, who doesn't love table spots for real? You know? Um, and eventually, uh, Chase University, Thea Hale, that, that girl at ringside, they, they, were, they were pretty crack up, actually. Um, uh, 
And, uh, yeah. And, um, it came down to, like, Gallus and New Day. And they slammed Xavier Woods. One, two, three. Gallus are the new NXT Tag Team Champions. Honestly, aside from the New Day, I pretty much only know... I pretty much don't know anyone else from this group, to be honest, from this tag team match. But there was fun, chaotic awesomeness. And yeah. Next up, we have the triple threat match for the NXT Women's Championship. We have Roxanne Perez defending against Gigi Dolan and JC Jane, both members, of course, of Toxic Attraction. Uh, it, was, it was solid. You know, these last two matches were solid. Honestly, just solid. Not anything amazing. Honestly, the, the last two matches, which, weirdly enough, are you know, pretty much the two biggest matches. Uh, this was about, you know, Toxic Attraction. They team up initially on Roxanne Perez. And then when they accidentally hit each other, they get mad. Like, every single tag team that happens to be in a triple threat um, together. Um, some cool stuff, though. Roxanne Perez uh, uh, did the... What's it called? I forgot the name of her finisher. Ro Rock Soft or something... I don't know. Pop Rocks. That's it. Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks to Gigi Dolan on the outside. And and Toxic Attraction actually set up a table on the outside. Um, Roxanne Perez uh, pushed um, uh, Gigi Dolan through that. Did a avalanche Pop Rocks to JC Jane for the 1-2-3. Roxanne Perez retains the championship. Uh, cool. Actually, nah. I would have rather either the Toxic Attraction members to win. But... I knew that was probably not going to happen. Uh, I hate that there are wrestlers in WWE younger than me. I, I'm going to be real. I hate that. Uh, and Roxanne Perez is three years younger than me. Uh, but uh, main event time. Steel cage match for the NXT Championship. Braun Breaker defending against Grayson Waller. And in this match can only be won by pinfall or submission. So you can't win the title or retain the title by escaping the cage. Another just solid match, honestly. And this was the main event, bro. Um, uh, Grayson Royal attacked Braun Breaker before the match. Uh, we almost thought we were going to get a spear through the barricade, but that didn't quite happen. <clears throat> they get in the ring. Uh, just just them fighting, honestly. Nothing special. Um, uh, there was a superplex. Uh, I wouldn't lie, when this match started, this was when I started eating food, like I ate some salt and vinegar chips, which were really delicious actually, and I ate a patty that was left over from last night, heated that up, put some cheese on it, delicious, and uh, I also had a hot drink, Milo, again, not sponsored, I just wanted to mention these things, so I can look back and be like, oh yeah, I remember that, um, so uh, this was definitely the match I was paying the least the most attention to, which I was looking forward to it, because I like Braun Breaker and um, trying to get, trying to pay more attention to Grayson Waller, um, but yeah, Braun Breaker did a superplex to Grayson Waller, from the cage too, so that was cool, he did a spear, and he was like, nope, not done with you, man, uh, and he kind of picked him up, I guess, another spear, one, two, three, Braun Breaker retains, cool, overall, dang good show, the last two matches are just fine, honestly, they're not anything special to me, uh, but, um, the top, the first four matches, actually, no, alright, the NXT North American Championship match, the two out of three falls, and the Fatal 4 a tag team match, those matches were dope, but, um, everything else, fine, honestly, but, I'm your boy Mark, that's my review of NXT Vengeance Day 2023, hope you guys enjoyed, and, yeah, I'll see you guys later, peace out, y'all.